Hello there everyone, my name is Nesqualo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in Bitcoin, right now we are seeing this epic breakout out of this channel right here despite all the probabilities of it turning out to be another balance of going downwards. As I told you guys before in my previous videos, I was really betting heavily that we're going to see this kind of a move downward from here because in reality, the GDP numbers are going to come out very soon and also the PCE data is going to come out and only then we can actually, you know, make any kinds of conclusions. So that's why I was betting so heavily that we're going to go lower. But a good thing is that as I've posted in the Telegram, channel at the first short trade that we've taken was from here and then it was closed with a small profit in this vicinity then the second one was taken from here and then it was taken also with a small profit right here so you know whenever we are taking a trade we're still taking it spot on and perfect so call me mr spot on down in the comments right now so despite it didn't really play out in the direction of all the probabilities we still made a tiny bit of money of course we wanted to you know make a lot more money here you know seeing the retest of about twenty thousand dollars potentially twenty thousand three but it didn't happen but nonetheless we're still not complaining with small profits and some of my community members took really quick scalp trades because i really want you know i really like swing trades and they've taken really nice profits here so this is really cool because despite the market going against all the probabilities and all the proper analysis we still managed to make money but how only due to proper risk and money management so you are welcome and i think that this is like profit number what in a row we had so many profits in a row and some of the trades they didn't work out they didn't reach our targets but we still exited with a profit so that's awesome and i mean we're making a killing this year so congratulations to you and to me but now let's talk about what's happening because you know i what i'm seeing in this price action is something that you know makes me excited because you know the bitcoin is far stronger than for example i thought in this current macro environment but for that, you know, for, for this reason, I am a little bit, you know, still skeptical and I'm really not convinced just yet. Yes, we have this explosion upward, we have some volume and we are potentially breaking this as a resistance from the weekly chart, the 200 moving average. Yes, it's starting to look more interested, interesting. And for me, I'm super excited because I have a lot of Bitcoin. So <laughs> when it goes up and every thousand per Bitcoin in price, when it goes up, Tom Strollo makes some money here. So that's why I'm very excited. I mean, trading is trading, but investing and believing in this cryptocurrency in general makes me excited to see that despite all the probabilities, we're actually going higher. But guys and girls, for the purposes of this video, I really don't want you to get your hopes up. For sure, it looks good. It starts to look a bit more bullish. And, you know, old coins have done really well, like Matic did like 30%, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, which was pretty crazy. So our current target, really, if we break this out and seems like it's a real breakout, unless, you know, we change our mind very fast, and you know my actual prediction is gonna come to actual fruition which is still a possibility so if and um, I have to give the, the scenario if we're gonna go uh, lower very fast here and then actually turn into a fake out I'm certainly gonna put in a short trade just again and uh, whenever we're gonna see an impulse I'm gonna place my stop again into profit and that's it you know that's how I do things so oftentimes it's very rare these days that I actually take a big loss like a full-blown stop loss so that's why you're following me big that's how we're making money here which is amazing so for me I really want to see this you know support broken and going downward then we can you know call for a target of about 20,300 but since we are seeing this kind of a more powerful you know break above right now and also we had this small retest right here which is absolutely beautiful so um, I'm inclined to agree with some of the analysts which I'm going to show you in just a second that we might potentially be on our way to retest this area right here which would put the target at about 25,500 26,000 this vicinity right here which once again I'm gonna be still more inclined to take a short trade I'm not flipping bullish just yet I'm not gonna flip bullish until I'm gonna see the PC numbers uh, on the July 29th and also the GDP numbers and we already know that most likely we are already in the recession but if you study this historic you know event then you will again see that whenever we are um, in a, um, a negative GDP for two consecutive terms so two quarters consecutively uh, we are officially in a recession and the markets even though the market has already priced it in the recession for example it still is going to react to it negatively and just because of you know just the market physics and how some of the portfolio managers and the smart money is going to start rebalancing their portfolios into the official recession whatever you know um, strategy so for that reason s p 500 and nasdaq is definitely going to take a hit whenever we're going to you know see the official recession so and so is going to bitcoin you know we 
it's correlated. So for that reason, we have so many dangers coming in right now that uh, in the, uh, this month with all the news and the earnings reports, etc., I really want to see this uh, play out. And only then, if everything is good and we've seen peak inflation, I'm going to flip bullish and I'm going to finally start tra taking more long trades than short trades. So this is a quick update. As for me, I'm not longing it right now. If you want to long it, that's absolutely up to you. But for me, I'm going to still see what's happening and maybe if it's, there's going to be some kind of move up and then, you know, some kind of consolidation, powerful move down, I'll still short it. If it doesn't happen and we're going to see, you know, uh, $26,000 or $28,000, that's fine. You know, I'm going to be happy that my Bitcoin holding is actually increasing in value. And uh, in the news, very important that institutional investors are actually adding to Bitcoin short positions as crypto markets turn green. Yeah, something to pay attention to, to what the smart money is doing, really. And also Bitcoin price to hit 28K by July end before bears control again. So this is also a very interesting article with some interesting key moments that this analyst is saying that we're going to first reach 28K. And then, you know, so 28K is basically somewhere in this vicinity and then, you know, go back into the bearish momentum, which is maybe a bit too optimistic in a short term perspective. But again, we'll see what's going to happen. So but everybody's still calling that this is not it, that we're going to still at least do some kind of a side move check activity here until we're going to be sure that the peak inflation is in. This is I know I've been saying this so many times, but it's just the way it is. This is the most important aspect right now. Let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think? And um, whether you're enjoying our profits, even though small profits, but still profits. And that's why you follow me. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and hit that also like button. And uh, I'm going to link a tutorial to buy bit somewhere right here. If you want to learn how to do all these things properly, then check it out, learn, become a good trader. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.